The artwork I would like to present to you is the barren child statue that sits at the Mission de Tolosa Church in the downtown of San Luis Obispo, California. I have lived in San Luis Obispo for 20 years, so I grew up attending this church with my family and admiring the spare monument for as long as I can remember. It's something that holds a very special place in my heart because it reminds me of my childhood. The barren child statue and the mission itself hold a lot of San Luis Obispo's history and its unique architecture. The barren child statue reflects an important time in history when the Spanish Padres came to San Luis Obispo. It gives voice to the Chumash and wildlife that instilled this valley with the rhythms of spirit and love. The statue was built in the year 1988 by sculptor Paula Zima. Notice how the piece is monumental with earthy and naturalistic color as it is made of gray ceramic. It's organic and free-flowing, most likely because it's trying to replicate a scene out of nature, as you can see with the two bear cubs and the mama bear drinking and playing in the water. They are the main focal point overall of the art piece. The texture appears to be smooth and subtle and have lines and contours that appear to be flowing, simple, and thick. I was deeply intrigued by the details of how this art piece came about. As you can see in the picture on the screen, here is the impressive structure of the mission fronted by a sculpture of grizzly bears. These giant bears are now extinct in California but were once prevalent here, and that's how the name was given to the region by the Portola Expedition in 1769. The Portola Expedition was in need of food, and when they were looking for it in the marshy valley, they found a lot of torn up soil in this area. This was due to grizzly bears in the region searching for young tool roots. When the men would encounter a bear, they would kill it and then eat it later because food supply started to dwindle. They named this place La Cañada de los Osos, translating to Valley of the Bears. The Mission de Tolosa Church was founded in 1772 by Father Junipero Serra. He was a Roman Catholic Spanish priest and friar of Franciscan order who found the first nine of 21 missions in California. It is also known as the first settlements of civilized man in California. The Indian name for our San Luis Obispo de Tolosa Church is Tishlini, which you can find on the plaque next to a grizzly bear statue. Father Junipero Serra influenced the Spanish architectural style that the mission offers. At first, the mission was made out of poles and tree boughs, However, due to fires in the past years, it has been replaced with adobe and tile structures. Today, the mission is a symmetrical structure with curved arches and a smooth texture painted with earthy and organic tones. The mission walls, which are 50 to 60 feet high, were built according to Vatican law. This law states that churches were to be built as tall as the local tree, in this case, the pine tree. The church, with the long secondary nave, forms an L shape, the only one of its kind amongst the California missions. Later, in 1850, after California became a part of the United States, and the first California bishop, Joseph Alameni, made a petition for the government to return some of the mission lands back to church. Since that time, the mission has undergone dramatic structural changes. In the 1880s, the front portico, also known as the Bell Loft, had to be removed due to the fact that it was weakened by an earthquake. At this time, they made an effort to modernize the structures. The colonnades along the front of the Convento wing were raised and both the church and the residence were covered with wood and clapboard. A New England-style belfry was added as well. These changes were effective in protecting the structure from further decay, and in the 1930s, during the pastorship of Father John Harnett, 
the buildings underwent extensive restoration to transform them back to early mission style. In 1893, an annex had been added to the right of the sanctuary and was extended in 1948. The first work I'm comparing the barren child statue to is located in chapter one of our textbook. The name of the statue is called Bear and it is by Tim Hawkinson. It was constructed in 2005 and weighs 370,000 pounds. It's a part of the Stewart Collection and is located at UCSD in San Diego. This piece reminds me of the grizzly bear statue because both works are a cross between an animal and monumental art. They both share a similar gray color palette and the same smooth textures. They also both have dramatic tones and use organic shapes. Even though both art pieces both share the same animal, they don't have the same theme. Hawkinson's work, although large scale, has a more subtle childlike vibe because the structure is supposed to look like a teddy bear. Whereas the mission's grizzly bear statue has a more vicious tone due to the fact that the bears are supposed to be more realistic looking and not make believe, such as Tim Hawkinson's. The next art piece I will be comparing it to is also from our textbook, and it is Lama Sioux. This is a sculpture all the way back from 720 BC from Khorasbad, Iraq. It now can be found at the British Museum in London, England. This sculpture, like the grizzly bear, is also a creature with natural elements and is nature rendered. When comparing the two, both structures promote animal focal points and a 3D realistic natural sense of depth and space. In conclusion, the Bear and Child statue holds a very special place in my heart and in the city of San Luis Obispo. It reminds us of the city's mission's history and will continue to hold importance for as long as it stands.